Oh yeah, what's going on YouTube? TV back here with a video talking about the X Games. Just got back yesterday. Austin was a lot of fun. Definitely better than Dallas. Uh, way too humid for me living in Cali. Oh man, I was just sit I'd walk outside, I'd be insta working up a sweat. It was way too hot, way too humid. And I'm really back to being California. But overall, the overall experience of the X Games was just great to see. Uh, I've watched X Games quite a bit the past couple of years um, on TV, and being able to see some of these events live with them doing some crazy big air tricks was just really, really cool to see. Got to check out skateboard and BMX big air, uh, street skate, and a couple other events. So it was really, really fun to watch uh, besides our matches and the, at the MLG X Games tent. That was pretty cool as well, and just a lot of fun. I had a great time. Uh, we ended up only getting the bronze medal. We got third place. We played Envy in the bronze medal match to win this bad boy right here. Happy we were able to come back with something. But finally losing was pretty upsetting. And not being in the final match like we have been for so long was pretty upsetting to us. It kind of pissed us off, to be honest. And hopefully it lights a fire under us to do better at Anaheim for you guys. Anyways, I'm going to talk. I'm going to walk, walk my way through the event each day. Uh, just starting off with the format of the tournament, it was a group play format. We had SB, Optic Nation, and TK in our group. We played SB first, beat them 3-1. to one. Then we played TK after they beat Optic Nation, moving on to Saturday. We lost to them 3-1, to one, and they just simply outslayed us. They destroyed us on the Blitz. Dom outplayed us. We beat them pretty easily on the Search and Destroy, but if you can't win respawns, it doesn't really matter if you win the Search and Destroy. We lost 3-1 to one to them, simply outplayed us. And I feel like we just had a lot of inconsistencies in respawn and search and destroy against optic. It was only one map, though. I think that was just something that we can easily fix. But um, so yeah, we lost to them, and then we played SB again to make it to Sunday. We beat SB 3-0 after we lost to TK on Saturday, and that was it for the group play. So optic, TK, Envy, and us made it to the medal rounds. I guess you could say going on to Sunday. Played optic first. Well, Envy and TK played TK1 to make it to the gold medal match. And then we played Optic. We ended up taking the first map, and we were all, you know, we were feeling confident as we always are. But then they came back really strong in the Search and Destroy. I played really bad. I went 0 and 7. I kept getting flanked, kept getting timing killed. When I would look one way, the guy would come from where I was previously looking. I would get flanked and shot my back. It was just really one of those games that I really don't think I could do much about. Uh, I guess I could have played a little bit faster to try and counteract uh, the randomness that was going on that was hitting me, but, you know, shit happens, and, you know, I can't be too mad. I played pretty well the whole event, I slayed very well, but I will say that using the vector kind of messed with our timings. It ended up leaving me a little bit behind my teammates, whether, rather than me being, you know, one of the first people, you know, uh, making the first move, getting that intro kill, and I was sitting back a little bit more, I think it hurt us a little bit even though I had really good slaying numbers I think sort of it messed with how we played a little bit using we were using too many vectors in my opinion it slowed down our timings and that's really really how we thrive on respawn just putting so much pressure pressure uh creating so many uh conflicts on the map that they were constantly pushed back constantly having to pre-aim us and just you know playing slower overall so we slowed down how we played a little bit and I think it hurt us by using the vector. I think we need to switch back to some more MTARs. Maybe one vector still, maybe two on some maps. But overall, we just need a faster pace of play. And I feel like it just hurt us. Like I said, our timings were just off. We weren't challenging at the same time. We weren't staying alive. We weren't buying time for our teammates. Things that we've struggled with online a little bit too. I think we need to work on that coming up with these last couple of league ma matches we have leading up to Anaheim. I believe we leave... Uh, next Thursday for Anaheim, so not much time to practice, but definitely enough time to fine-tune these little things that we were struggling with at the X Games. Um, s and you know, little things here and there. We weren't watching areas. Nate Shot did a great job flanking. I was watching him through play the s and and he would do these weird sort of timing flanks. He would flank, make his position known, and then flank back and go middle, just doing some crazy stuff to... Uh, you know, basically confused the other team and it worked out well for them. So props to Optic for winning. Uh, they put in a, I know they wanted it really bad. TK played awesome as well. Sharp had a great event. Apathy had a great event. And, you know, props to all those guys for, you know, placing in the medals along with us. Happy for them. Happy for the Call of Duty scene as a whole. 
Uh, I think we grew a decent amount at the X Games. We made a good impression for esports as a whole, and I just had a great time. Um, we need to work on Blitz as well. We have had really bad starts lately on Blitz. We let the other team get a lead, and once they get a lead, they get a 1-2-3 cap lead. We just start you know, overextending, not watching alleys, and then they just start sneaking caps on us and start trading. So even though we might get a cap or two, they're getting a cap or two or three right back. So Optic did a very good job on Warhawk Blitz. They would get a lead, and then they switched to like a double AR. So we, we were expecting Clay to be that one guy in their base, but he would start pushing up, and then they'd have another AR there. So they just sort of zoned out the map on us, and we couldn't do much. Uh, especially with our submachine guns, and that's why I think we need to use the MTAR a little bit more too. You can sprint into gunfights more and catch the ARs out of position, whereas the Vector, you need to be make sure you're pre-aiming a little bit more to make use, uh, and especially with the MTAR, steady aim is much better on it compared to the Vector. So just little things here and there we realized a little bit too late in the tournament. Uh, we will make these adjustments going into these league matches and make sure we're ready for Anaheim because getting third place feels fucking awful after all the success we've had the past year or so. So I think it lit a fire under all of us as a team. We're going to work that much harder and get over this sort of lazy hump we've been on so far. Uh, we've just been lackluster a little bit in practice. We need to make sure and come out with the fire we had in previous events and show why we're the best team in the game. We have to team in the game. We have to prove it again. Optic overtook us. TK overtook us. And got to work our way back up. That's pretty much all I have to say. Hope you guys enjoyed watching the X Games, watching us a little bit. A little unhappy we couldn't pull out the victory for EG with our first event under the evil genius's name, but we were able to take the bronze medal. Can't complain too much. Look at that bad boy. It's a belt buckle because we were in Texas. I thought that was really funny. Ian was rocking it Sunday night when we went out. It's pretty cool. But X Games was a lot of fun. Props to MLG for putting that great event on for us. And thanks for all the support for the people watching us. Sorry we couldn't win. We're going to do our very best to work our way back up. And that's about it. No excuses. Got to work harder. Got to prove why we're the best. Once again, props to Optic and TK once again. They played great, outplayed us, and we just need to do better. Little changes here and there, and I think we'll be back on top for you guys. We just got to put in the work. Anaheim's coming up pretty soon. Hope you guys enjoyed this video explaining why we didn't do as great as we usually do and just over overall the X Games experience. Have a good day, guys. Like the video and subscribe if you enjoyed it. I'll talk to you later. Peace.